Wait, which one do we use? Michael, pick a clap. Whoever's you use, that's the person you love the most. <gasps> Dude, I'm very strong. Oh, no. Let me show you. Yeah, you do it. You do it. Ready? Ready? Yeah, you're very strong. Welcome to the top seven monsters that you could get from your transcendence scroll. Well, 14 actually. It's kind of cheating. We cheated a little bit because it's going to be seven for early gamers and seven for late game hardcore players. What transcendence scrolls might you... <laughs> What trans scr scroll your mom, you, Me, my VS, you, the question might be asking, transcendence? That's a great question, Seppi. We're of course talking about the transcendence scroll that's either at the end of the Summoner's Way questline or at the time of recording this, there's a 7th anniversary event going on in that events page where you can get a free transcendence scroll assuming you've got a thousand of the 7th anniversary coins. Let's start with the list for new players because presumably they have a shorter attention span. That's a generalization. We don't normally agree with generalizations on this channel. But this time it's right. But this time it's, it might be right. I'm gonna check the retention stat at the end of this. And week. number seven, Ciara, the Wind Oracle. Obviously, she's not gonna be used right away to help you progress in early game, but once you have the runes for her, those Vile Will runes, she's gonna help you everywhere in the game. Wait, this one's for early? She's gonna help you everywhere. Okay. She's gonna help you in Arena. She's gonna help you in RTA. She's gonna help you in Guild content. She can use in attack, defense, everywhere. Well, not in dungeons. I used her to clear Necro a couple times. Oh, you see? Okay, number six is Feng Yan, the panda that won't stop spinning. He's great because it's very easy to ruin a Feng Yan, actually. You pretty much just have to focus on getting him enough defense so that he deals damage and making sure that he's tanky enough that he takes a good hit. In the beginning of the game, you don't even need Vio on him. Five. Oh, yeah, oh, all right. Three, yeah, sounds good. One. Five, Leo, because uh, Lab is just free for you right yeah, now. Lab is free and also arena offense teams with Lucians. He's amazing. If you're new to the game, you may not know this yet. This might be some brand new information. We might be dropping a little bit of wisdom on this video. Fastest monster in the game. Boom. Don't ruin him on Swift or Will. Well, there's some people ruining him on double Will right now because of Jogan. But that's our TA. Wow. Something to note for all these early game monsters, they all scale really well into, into the late game. Dude, that's why we put them. We, we Dang, thought about this. that's a good this. list. We did you great. Think? Yeah, that's a good list. Okay. With that said, number four is Ganymede. Probably the best fairy king in the game, even counting the LDs, because he'll help you everywhere in TOA and make TOA hell a paradise. He's been nerfed twice and he's still number four on the list. He's a regular combo facilitator, making sure that one unit on your team always has their skill cooldowns up. And you reset the other team, their attack bars are gone. You can even use him in arena offense against those defenses with a bunch of cooldowns. And don't make me say it, glancing is healing. Next. <laughs> and number three, Savannah. Also a beautiful scaling monster into late game that will make GB12 something way easier for you. Attack bar reduction, death break, lots of damage, wind element. She can be using guild content, even in arena with an AoE stripper. She's so much fun. Number two is Rika, and for really good reason, because Rika is one of the main proponents of finding TOA easy mode. With all those dots, and also with Tatu becoming so popular recently, she's an easy include in most TOA normal and hard teams. Oh, and Sat's best friend. Oh yeah, I agree with this. <laughs> and a number one, the king of TOA himself, Varad, the worst version of Tyrone. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Varad is still better than Tyrone, okay? I don't own one. He's the other half of finding TOA easy mode along with Rika. I think he was also the only, if not one of the only Nat 5s to appear in our top 15 early game Lucky Summons video. Which, this is basically a spiritual successor Can you say to. that again? Or I, you I just did. <laughs> okay, oh. kids, go home now. The adults are talking. Late gamers only. If no, you're not too... C1 in RTA, leave the video. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's not talk down to the early gamers. They need to stay. Yeah, it's like, if you've been playing the game for a long time and you're still F3 like Evan, these are the monsters that you want to pull. Huh? <laughs> so let's start with number seven. It's a previous number one or two contender. Okeanos. Thanks come to us for nerfing him. Right after I got him. That's what happened with me with Molan. <laughs> <laughs> but he's still great. He's still got his AoE stun. He still gains attack bar based on how many he lands. And he's another reset for your team if you pulled Gany in the early game. 
and lots of damage because those artifacts still make him scale super well on our team. So even though he got nerfed, he's not necessarily leaving anybody's teams. He's mm -hmm. just uh, stunning a little less frequently. He good. still got it, he says with his gray beard as he throws rocks at the kids on his front line. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> and number... <clears throat> Dude, I'm not even facing the camera. <laughs> and number six, Chung Pong. The AOE stripper that puts glancing and resets everyone is like a more toxic old Ganny. Dare we say AOE Ganny? <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Don't nerf him again for the love of God. Number five is Leo or Juno. We couldn't really decide and both are counters to the metal. Big counters. Beast Riders, control, boom. They counter all of them. Well, don't, don't let the barber through if you... Your Juno's over there, right? No! 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 And he counters! <laughs> Why does he keep countering? Actually, wait, Seppi, this is great. Because wait. we have a video coming out on Saturday and we needed footage of Juno. Oh, Juno, yeah, thank you. Yes, oh, Juno. No. Wait. Michael, if you use this in the video, I'm texting you right you now, dude. No. Parental advisory. If you pull a <laughs> Juno, do not feed her to your Veramos just to six star him. Yeah, that's right. We're talking to you. Nasuka to slouchy. But, like, matter. No, I'm not mad. I'm sad for him. Sad? Yeah. Yeah. He got it back. He has a Juno. He, yeah, he loves it. Right. I love Slump. And number four, Savannah and Barbara. Savannah, for very similar reasons like we talked about in the early game section, and Barbara's here because of her one-shot potential and strip at the start of RTA. Mm, an attack bar booster that kills people. That's a green. That's a chef's kiss right there. Let's go. Let's go to Italy again. Number three is Jogun. An AoE stripper that can ban someone from the game and just make passives disappear. He turns your whole team into damage dealers. And number two, Moore. Moore is, oh. Moore is one of the strongest first pick options in RTA right now. He brings, first of all, he's got a speed lead and he has a passive that makes it so that even if you outspeed, you're afraid to hit him because he might just AoE strip you. And if you don't outspeed him, he's gonna outspeed you and strip your team, so... It's just a bad situation. And we end the video as we started it. Number one is Ciara! Once again, one of the most common first picks in RTA. She has a speed lead, she's a damage dealer that does not care about a bunch of things. Your element, if there's a molly on the other side, and she also controls your team, and it's super tanky with her own turn cycling. Yeah, we barely even mentioned the fact that if you're ruining her to modern day standards, then that means you're netting about 33% of a turn just for hitting somebody. Turns out everybody likes turns, so turn that frown turn side turn because she's gonna get them no matter what. On bio and will.